Hello everyone, I'm Alec. So, I have- I just came up with the idea for this video a few minutes ago, so I haven't really thought terribly deeply about what I'm going to be saying, so this video will likely be messy at best. Let's do the thing! So basically, what happened was, um, oh, it might have been a week ago at this point, I was watching the Game Grumps playthrough of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and uh, some episode, I don't remember which one it was, um, basically they got onto, they were talking about some deep topics, but, um, so I'll go f back and find the video, put a link in the description so you can watch it and know what, what the heck I'm talking about, but, um, Towards the middle end-ish of the video, base there was a lot of discussion leading up to it, but basically what they were saying boiled down to, if you're doing this thing every day, you're not aspiring to be whatever you are. Like, if you, if you want to be a photographer, if you don't say you're an aspiring photographer, if you're going out taking pictures and practicing every day, you are a photographer at that point, regardless of whether you've ever gotten published in a magazine or won a competition or whatever. And the same goes for things like art or writing or YouTube. Like, you're not an aspiring artist, you are an artist. You're not an aspiring writer, you are a writer. And, like, that really blew my mind, because, like, up until that point, I had said, I am an aspiring YouTuber. But what it really comes down to is, regardless of how many or few subscribers or videos I have, I am a YouTuber. Now, I am a crap inspirational speaker, but... I think this is a really important point to make because it has been really influential in my mindset even since just in this past week. It is just mind blowing to me. Like, how do I word this? For example, if you wanted to be, if you wanted to be an author, it's dark now. For example, if you wanted to be an author, if you were an aspiring author, you don't need to have a published book or a career in writing in order to be an author. If you're writing every day or every week, just some amount, some frequent amount, you are a writer. You are an author. And it's just like... To say that you're not is really putting you down, putting yourself down for all the work that you've been doing. I think the best way to get somewhere with this thing that you love doing is to take that first step and say, like, I enjoy this thing, I do this thing regularly, I am a thing, I'm not an aspiring thing, I am a thing. And like, just doing that myself in regards to YouTube, saying, I am a YouTuber. It has been real, like I just said that, it has been really influential for me, and I am just so much more motivated now to just come up with content to put out. It's messy at best, is what I said. And the thing is, a lot of people would say, like, oh, I'm not a real artist, or not a real writer, because, like, all I do is fan art or my art isn't very good, that doesn't matter either because it's just like, again, you don't need to be published somewhere or anything in order to be a thing. It's like you, regardless of whether your art is based on something else or your own original content, you are still an artist. I know a lot of people give DeviantArt crap for just the way it is and the people on the website, but I mean, I think it's really interesting the, one of the things that they do, because when you're signing up or on your, or editing your profile, you can set, like, what you are, like, artist, and then, like, you can have
describe it as a specific media or just general what you do your work in and then you can either put professional or hobbyist. It's like, it's basically saying neither is more valid than the other. Both are still forms of an artist. I feel like I'm rambling now. Um, so, I don't know. I think that it was said better in the video that I mentioned by the game prompts, so you should check that out in the description. Uh, and if, if you have called yourself an aspiring something, maybe put some thought into it. Because you are the thing. It's just true. But anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, comment, like, favorite, you know, the drill, whatever. Subscribe if you're not already. I'd really appreciate it. And keep on being awesome. You can do the thing. I'll see you all next time.